Bitcoin lottery modding has definitely become a craze over the last several years where you can buy a small, quiet, affordable piece of hardware to run right in your home or right in your office. And why is it called lottery modding? Well, essentially it gives you a lottery ticket every 10 minutes. And every 10 minutes, that lottery ticket gives you a chance to hit a Bitcoin block worth over $300,000. Enter the Mars Lander, one example of a Bitcoin lottery miner that kind of checks those boxes. It is small, compact, quiet, very low power, not taking any more than like an LED light bulb would be taken in your house. And what it does is essentially giving you that lottery ticket every 10 minutes. So let's take a look what you get in this box. Really cool, well-designed box. The Bitcoin B is right there. I love it. But within there, you're going to have the actual Mars Lander miner itself. And then what they're gonna give you is the power adapter, just go into a standard outlet. And then there's a remote in there as well, which is gonna control the integrated LED lights on the Mars Lander. Once you get it open, there's really not much else to do. It comes with a really simple card to give you the instructions, which is gonna be to plug it in, let it boot up, and then from there, it's gonna create its own Wi-Fi network, very much like all of the kind of smart home things do nowadays. If you did wanna use Ethernet for some reason, you can. It has a USB port on the side, and you can plug in a USB to Ethernet adapter. They even sell one on their website if you wanna pick one up. So now I've joined the network of the Mars Lander, and then from there, I can teach it what my Wi-Fi network's SSID is, get it all connected, and then, that's pretty much it, but there's one really important step that you have to do. You have to give it your own Bitcoin address. So just in the chance that you actually hit a Bitcoin block, and we're gonna go over the odds later in this video, if you hit a Bitcoin block, it knows where to pay that out to. Do not leave it the default or else you're gonna make probably Bitcoin merch very, very happy when they hit a Bitcoin block with the miner that they sold over to you. So please change this. Now, the easiest way I think to get a Bitcoin address is to just go over to Coinbase, sign up for an account if you don't have one already, go over the assets, go over to Bitcoin and just click for a new receiving address. And you can copy and paste that right into the Bitcoin merch uh, GUI, whether you're doing this on your phone or you're doing this on the computer, it doesn't matter. There's also some advanced options here where you can change the frequency that the uh, chip inside of the miner is operating on, maybe give you a little bit more performance. So if you want to tinker, you don't have to. If you want to tinker a little bit more so you can get out of this Mars Lander, you can do that as well. Now, beyond that, it's just going to sit there and run. It's got this really cool LED display on there, which gives you some animations. It's going to show you different things from the price of Bitcoin, the hash rate of the actual Mars Lander itself. If you've hit a block, it would let you know right on that display. I can't even imagine somebody waking up and just kind of like looking at it and seeing that instead of zero, it says one. And it's happened, it's rare, but people have hit Bitcoin blocks with little Bitcoin miners just like this because statistically it should happen, though the odds are very, very, very highly stacked against you. We gotta talk about odds and I'm gonna do this really efficiently in this video on this Mars Lander, but if you want a full in-depth explanation of how to calculate the odds for solo modding, which is lottery modding. I got a video for you. I'm going to leave it linked up in the card right up there where you can calculate everything along with me. But we're going to use some tools and resources to get this done a little bit faster. The first place we got to go is over to the GUI for the Mars Lander itself. And we're going to grab the Bitcoin address from there. So just copy that in. And then we're going to head over to the pool's website, CK Pool. Now, I know I'm calling it a pool, but I don't want you to get confused. We're really just using their Bitcoin node to solo mine. Once you're in there, enter in that Bitcoin address so we can get some average statistics for your Mars Lander. Now, mine's been up and running for a while. So I'm going to use that seven-day hash rate average, which is 263 giga hash. Keeping that in mind, I'm going to go over to this website called sololock.com. And I'm going to change this over to GigaHash, and I'm going to paste in that 263. And when I hit Calculate here, it's going to give me some odds. And what I'm looking at is big picture. I'm going to look at that year. What are the odds that this Mars Lander could hit a Bitcoin block within one year? Well, the odds are 1 in 64,420. Said a different way, if everything stayed exactly the way it is right now, this Mars Lander would hit a Bitcoin block once every 64,420 
years. I wanna go over a few additional things that might answer some questions you have on your mind, and then we're gonna go over my opinions towards the end of this video. Now, the first thing I wanna address is overclocking. I've left this unit on default, and it's gotten that 263 gigahash per second, but it's like supposed to do more. And I'm trying to figure out how to get there. If you go over on Bitcoin Merch's website, this Marslander V2 that I have right here is the compact A1 double speed, which should do between 300 and 400 gigahash per second. Now, why such a wide range in performance? Well, it's always down to how the actual silicon in the chip inside that is going to perform. The same is true with any CPU, GPU, and the same is true for any little ASIC miner, which is a small one like this, or a huge one that you see in the Bitcoin mining farms. And what I did is I came in here and then I just hit that frequency all the way up to 400 save changes and I just sat back and watched what happened. And what happened here is the minor reset and then I watch as I refresh the page, that current frequency that you see there that's currently 312.5, it just kept climbing from 300 all the way to 400. And as it was doing that, I was watching the power on the meter box back here climb to about 25 watts. And I was like, cool. And then something happened. It reset, like the unit didn't reset, but I watched the power drop to around that 14 watts again. So I came back in over to the advance and I refreshed again. And I saw that it had dropped back down to 300 on its frequency. And then as I continue to refresh, it would climb again. It would not go to 400, but it would go to the one right underneath that. And then it would mine for a little bit. And then again, I watched the power drop and then it went back to 300 and climbed to the increment right underneath the last one. So I think it's got some kind of like self overclocking in it. And now for a while now, I'm gonna give it one more refresh. We're gonna take a look. It's been settled out that 312.5, much longer than any other frequency that it's been running at. So I think I've, it's found its place where it is happy and it can run for a while. So, but if you have one of these or you get one of these, yours might perform better or worse depending on the actual silicon inside the unit itself. The next thing we should talk about is the lottery solo mining that we're doing with the Mars Lander versus pool mining. And if you're a little bit more savvy, this might be a question that you are wondering about watching this video. So solo lottery mining is what we're doing. That's this machine versus everybody else in the world because I want the entire reward for myself. And we saw the odds of that actually happening. Now, there's another side to Bitcoin mining, which is this, joining with everybody else. And if we mine together, we send all our hashing power to the Bitcoin network, well, when we hit a block, we'll just divide that reward proportionally to the amount of hashing power our machines sent in. This is pool mining. Now, the amount of hashing power for this Mars Lander is very small, but let's at least see what that actual take home would be if we mine with the pool instead. So I'm over on miningnow.com, and with the 300 giga hash that I'm hoping to achieve on this Mars Lander, I would take home less than two cents in Bitcoin a day. And just looking at a year, I would take home about $6.50 in Bitcoin per year. You can see the allure of solo lottery mining and just seeing if I can get all of it instead of mining safely to a pool because it's just honestly not worth a lot, even if you take into account the future and the potential Bitcoin has price-wise Ultimately, it's just not worth a lot, so might as well take the risk and go all in with lottery mining. There's all your facts, now it's time for my opinions. I think there are two things that everybody should do in Bitcoin. The first is they should buy Bitcoin, and the second is they should mine Bitcoin. And if this is the device that allows you to mine Bitcoin and learn more about proof of work, then you should go buy it. I mean, the link is right down in the video description if you wanna do that. I think there's other similar devices out there, though I like this one's LED screen that shows the price of Bitcoin. And I also like the color changing LEDs. I mean, it's definitely a conversation piece. You put this in your home or your office, anybody that walks in is going to ask about it, which allows you to do the third most important thing, which is teach Bitcoin. And if you wanna learn more about Bitcoin yourself, I have that video linked on the screen right here that I mentioned earlier in this video that gives you a look under the hood of solar mining and all the math that goes into it to calculate your odds. And if you got a spare PC hanging out at home or gaming PC, I have a video linked up here as well where you can mine Bitcoin right on that PC. 
please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.